Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 1 of Darwell20's Stoneblock 3 series. FTB has uh, just released a new version of Stoneblock, Stoneblock 3, uh, currently available on Minecraft version 1.18, uh, and I'm very excited to check it out. Um, if you guys have seen my previous Stoneblock series, you guys know that I'm a big fan of this style of pack. It's uh, If you've never seen Stoneblock before... It's basically the opposite of a skyblock. Um, rather than being, you know, in a big void with no blocks around, you are in a world completely covered by stone, uh, and you're stuck in a cave, and you have to, you know, dig out and build resources. So it's kind of like a skyblock, but the opposite. Uh, so I'm very excited to check this one out. Um, it's it's uh, I got an early release version, so I'm recording a few episodes in advance. So what you see is probably going to be similar to what's finally released once it's out, but uh, it might be a little different, but it should be pretty similar. So I'm going to jump in, create a new world, and check out Stoneblock. Let's do it. Uh, so as usual, I'm going to call it Let's Play World. That should be good. Does it matter what? Does it matter what my what my what my what my seed is? LP Stoneblock DW20. How's that sound? Sure. That sounds fun. Um, survival mode, normal, no cheats, none of that stuff. So create a new world. Let's do it up. Uh, so I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this one because uh, about a month or so ago, uh, the FTP team let me know they were working on this. And uh, I'm like, I would like to play that when that's available, please. Because I am a fan of, st of, of Stoneblock. It's really... Uh, Stoneblock 1, I remember when it first came out, I was like... This is different, right? Because I'd played plenty of Skyblocks before, right? Um, and and then Stoneblock 2 came out, uh, and that one was super fun. Uh, remember the giant chicken boss? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm in for, though. Like, uh, I've done... I don't know, like, you know, what's in the pack, any of that stuff. I don't really have any idea what to expect from this one. So let's let the world generate, and we'll be right back. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, my goodness. This is uh, not quite what I expected. I was not prepared for this to be... To have another portal right here. The dimension, or the, the biome is called the void. But I'm not actually sure. Is this is this the nether or is this the quote unquote overall? This is, this is different. This is very different. Not at all what I expected. Some stone cutters, some grindstones, some blast furnaces, some regular furnaces. Interesting. Wall lanterns. That's cool. Reanimated soul sand. A couple barrels. Oh, hello. That's a trapdoor. <laughs> Campfire. Ah, that's that's cool. I like this. And a big old nether portal just staring you in the face as you walk into the game. This is very different. Oh. Select the start. Oh. Well, that's cool. That's different, right? That's a little different. I'm gonna cancel that. I wanna see, like, what's, uh... You know what's interesting is I don't have hand. It took me... Checking the clock. A minute and 20 seconds to realize I don't have a hand. <laughs> uh, so I can't actually break any of this stuff. That's pretty different. Okay. That's cool. Uh, look at that. The mod pack is placed entirely within an underground world with no surface. Uh, as you travel further from your spawn point, you will come across dungeons, caves, and eventually a ring of nether and end. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Okay. Every player has their own dimension spawning at 0, zero and has their own range. You can teleport to another player by using the TPA command. Okay. Uh, the world and server spawn is a lobby area. Everyone spawns here, but you shouldn't stay here. To create your dimension, go through the portal in the center. You can choose your dimension starting cave there. This also creates an FTB team's party. Joining another player's party will send you to their dimension. Once you're in a party, you can use the command to teleport to your dimension's origin. Sweet. That's neat. All right. So I'm guessing I'll get my quest reward book for doing this. And then I'll check that box. And that's pretty cool. I like it. Okay. Neat. That's different. See? Told you this was going to be cool. Told you it was going to be cool. What do we got over here? Super nice. I mean, I can't help but just check out this place a little bit, right? No soliciting. I like that sign. That is awesome.
Very cool all around. Too bad I can't steal those amethyst clusters. All right, so what should we do? So the original is like what I imagined when it came to FTB. Uh, but there's another kind of cave. There's a drippy cave with like little houses in it. There's a lush house cave, lushed Minecraft intersection, and then a regular Minecraft intersection. Interesting. Very curious. Like, I really kind of want to start in the original one. Let me think about this for a minute. As cool as all these different starts are, I, I think I just want to go with the original one. Just because it's like a little nostalgia -y. Let's do that. Hello, I've got a party. Ain't no party like a dire party. I'll tell you that much. All right. So I assume now that we can get started. Uh, so here we go. All right, neat. Uh, break some stone with your bare hands. Alone in a cave with nothing but rocks. What's a better use of your time than punching them? Mining stone with your fist results in dropping stone pebbles, which should be crafted in cobblestone. Can be eaten if for whatever reason you would want to. Okay. I... Still do not have a hand. That's interesting. It does exist, mind you, but... Weird. Okay, I got my hand back. Just had to relog. <laughs> Easy peasy. Uh, also, I think they're very serious when they say break these blocks with a bare hand, because if you have anything in your hand, you don't get the pebbles. Deal? Alright, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Uh, hey, we got pebbles. Random reward. Ooh, I got a pipe wrench. Cool, from pipes. Okay. Pretty pipes. Oh, neat. I didn't know pretty pipes got updated. Neat. That's cool. Okay. I'm down with that. Uh, crafting a workbench. Easy peasy. Just need four cobble. Oh my goodness, look how many things there are. Oh, I guess Project E's in the pack. Nice. All right. Now I have to, I have to check. Watch a Flowing Time does exist. Ooh, and it's a create recipe sequence. That's cool. That gives me some pretty good hope because it means that there's some cool stuff customized in this pack for sure. Definitely some cool stuff, you know, for this pack. Like, that's that's neat. It means that, you know, they did create custom recipes for, you know, some advanced re That's That's cool. That's very promising for me. I think that looks neat. All right, so that should pretty quickly get me a stone crafting table. I'm just gonna punch a few more of these because I suspect I'm gonna need a cobblestone pickaxe pretty soon. One more. Perfect. There we go. And then a cobblestone table. Neato burrito. Right in the corner. Okay. So far, so good. Random reward. Yeah, hey, soul shard. <laughs> Neat. I like. I like. I, I'm hopeful that we get something like really cool at some point. Um. Mining certain blocks with a crook will make them drop items like saplings and seeds. You can see the drops in REI by using its recipes. Okay, cool. So hitting clay gets me clay balls. That's a cutting board. I think what we want to do is do this. Crooking. Okay. Neat. I don't have any of those blocks yet, so that's a thing. Hammer is probably where we want to go, right? Yeah, let's go the hammer route. Um, so we're definitely going to need more of these. We should probably get a we should probably get a pickaxe too, right? I would say yes. I would say yes to a pickaxe so we can get cobble directly, and then stop with this whole punching punching stone thing. Never mind. That is not a thing that's going to happen. Oh, cool. Oh, that's okay. That's definitely different. 
I've not used REI before, so that's a new one. REI, I think, is like a alternative to JEI. Okay, so that's how we get that stuff and then saplings. Okay, so talk to me about a pickaxe. I didn't want to cheat. I wanted to look up the recipe. I am going to have to get used to REI. It is a little different. Collapse. Oh, that's neat. Alt click to expand. Oh, that's cool. I like that. All the tinkers. That's cool. That's neat. I like that. That's nifty. So I guess I need wooden sticks. Okay. So we can't use stone rods to make that. But now what we can do. Okay. So that actually gets me cobblestone. Interesting, interesting. So the hammer gets you cobble, you say. Now, presumably, I believe, yes, Ultimine is in the pack. Awesome. Awesome. That is cool. All right, so random reward and some compressed gravel. Okay, not bad. Ooh, and I got bread. I will absolutely take bread as a random reward. Because with all the uh, all the mining I'm doing. All right, dirt. Dirt is good. And I'm probably going to stop there because I want to get the saplings, right? So to get that, we're going to need to hit dirt with a stone crook. Um, and that will get me all the, all the seeds and saplings, it looks like. Cool. Okay, so let's do that. I'm purposely not vein mining or ulti mining my, my world just yet for, for stone, because I don't want to make like a big hole in the wall, because Darkness is going to be a thing pretty soon for me. Um, so then I want the crook. That should be cool. Holy cow, that's a lot of things. Uh, but did I get a did I get a apple sapling? I did, among many other kinds of saplings and many other kinds of food. All right, uh, so that's cool. I might want you to be down one. Let's do that, and then we'll get our oak sapling. And is this in the pack? It would appear to be. Hooray! Wood. What? He did what now? Uh -huh. Even, even, even in a stone block, I can't, I can't escape them. I can't even escape them in a stone block. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I can't even get away from them in a stone block. Also, it looks like there is no... Um, sweet food. Uh, no vein mining with an empty hand. I guess you want to use the proper tool to... to vein mine with. Let's do that, and then I will probably want a pickaxe, though I question how it's different than a hammer, but it's all good. So now I can vein mine? Yes. Beautiful. All right. Uh -huh. Cool. And then more crook action. Uh -huh. And then because Dyer uh -huh. is nothing if not consistent, he will get a stone sword and go deal with this guy. Sir. Shh. Quiet. I'm trying to make a YouTube video over here. Okay. Uh, so that's cool. That's a lot of junk. So I should... Now, now, I believe there was a stone. Let's get our random reward. Hey, I got a building gadget. That's awesome. I have no way to charge it, but I got it. That's cool. Is charging gadgets in the back? I'm curious. It is. All right. Neat. I am going to be left clicking on things for recipes for the next 10 episodes. Be prepared for that. 
Uh, pretty standard recipe, it looks like. So, you know, charging of gadgets can happen soon. Uh, what else do we get? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of seeds. And saplings gets me a random award. I got a hearthstone. Teleports a player to their personal spawn point, or if enabled, the world spawn can be enchanted with unbreaking and mending. Oh, that's cool. Gadgets against grind, durability 64. That's not bad. I like that. That's super cool. All right, I need a chest, uh, and I get a random reward for making a stone chest. Uh, there's many kinds of them, but the cobblestone one needs a cobblestone part. Okay, that seems doable. Maybe what I'll do, this could become kind of like my mining area, right? Just put those there. All right, I'm gonna put all my crops that I got into my stone chest, because that's just funny to me. <laughs> that's just funny to me. Uh, and then I should have another chest for all the miscellaneous junk that I'm gonna accumulate. And I'm just going to get a normal chest, assuming that's a thing. It is. And then that will be like the gadgets and the soul stone and all that good stuff. Cool. All right. That's not a bad start. I like that. And our crook is almost dead. That's okay. We can just trash you. And I can always make another one at some point if I need to. Because I'm assuming I will need to at some point. It says I can eat it, but it's not letting me eat it. Maybe because I'm not hungry. That could be. I'm going to get rid of this pebble for now. I don't think I need any more pebbles, but, you know, I could be surprised. All right. Random reward for making the chest. And I got a... Oh, luggage. Nice. I love luggage. What's up, little buddy? How's it going? Little guy should follow me around, right? Yep. And shift right click to pick him up? Also, yes. That's cool. He might be useful. I love luggage. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with oak logs. Thank you very much. Lots of them, too. Nice. Okay. Tinker's Tools. With a pattern, you can start making tools from Tinker's Construct 3. That looks cool. Uh, sieves, never heard of them. Make a millstone setup. You can get basic resources like iron using the millstone. More advanced resources aren't available until later. Like everything in Create, the millstone is powered with rotational force. I like it. I like the idea of a Create Start here. I'm very excited about that. I'm just putting that out there. Likewise, you're going to hold W while hovering over any create item to see a short animation explaining how it works, including how it's powered. Okay. Well, that's cool. All right. So we're going to need cogwheels, hand cranks, and millstones. I don't love with JEI how it puts the to-do list, like, right along here, like, right next to the FTB chart. Like, I like it being underneath so that it looks separate. Because that's going to that's gonna mess with me. Oh my goodness. I somehow removed the quest button. That's a thing that I just did. I can also get rid of the My Team button. Okay. Add. Oh, hello. Quests. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, I like that. That's neat. That's neat. Dispose here. Very cool. Very fancy little animations going on there. I'm going to have to get used to REI. Uh, so anyway, we want to make these things, right? So, uh, yeah, operator permissions, I agree. So you want polished andesite, huh? Do you have to be andesite? Or any wood planks with a shaft, which needs andesite alloy, which needs zinc or iron nuggets. So I assume that's not going to happen. Where does one get andesite? Does it, it has to be andesite, it looks like, right? Am I crazy? That, 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 that tag, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. It shows you all the tags. Okay. Uh, but how does one get polished andesite? That is a really good question. Ooh, chiseled is in the pack. That's neat. Andesite can turn into polished andesite that way. Uh, 
Oh, this button moving as I click through the tabs is definitely going to mess with me too. Andesite. So I could get diorite to get andesite. That required a nether star, so I assume we're not getting one of those just too soon. That needs nether quartz. Now, I guess technically I don't need a cogwheel, though that's what it says I need for the quest. But do I really technically need a cog? Yeah, I do, because I have to, the millstone needs a cogwheel next to it. Yeah, you also need polished andesite. So how does one get andesite? Andesite. See, this can accept any stone, but this needs to be andesite. All right, let me look through here for a few more minutes and see what I'm missing, because clearly I'm missing a way to get andesite. Ah, so I found something. Check this out. In the quests book, uh, we're in the getting started section still, but exploration showed up. Uh, and we can see here there are stone layers. In the overall portion of the map, is separated into five slices split by Y levels. The center slice is made of stone, 55 blocks tall, above and below Y0. Uh, above and below that are 20 block tall slices of andesite, and above and below that, there is a 53 block tall layer of deep slate. So if we want andesite, we need to go down, I guess, 55 blocks. That's a lot of blocks. That's a lot of blocks. Uh, and then there's uh, the nether in the end, which remember we saw starts around 1,000 blocks from spawn, a lot. That's all right, lie. Okay. 1600 blocks from spawn. Uh, continuing even further, the ring ends around 2200 blocks. Past that, it's infinite stone with unique dungeons dotted around. Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, looks like chickens are in the pack. We will be getting chickens. That's going to happen. That's for sure going to happen. And then create. Okay, cool. Uh, Batania. Sweet. What's that? Oh, Guardian of the Guy. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So definitely some stuff to unlock. And guess who respawned? Where did he even spawn at? Can I? He's apparently in here. You wandering traitors, you. Is he above me? Is he below me? I don't even know. There he is. What a hilarious place to... Okay, just to be clear. Yeah, just, I don't have any emeralds yet. Wandering traders, please. Okay, so I need to go 55 blocks down, and I'll find Andesite, if I'm reading the quest correctly. So I'm going to start... Now, what's interesting is I don't have any coal just yet. Uh, I guess I could smelt charcoal, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a furnace up and running, get ourselves some charcoal so that I can mine a little bit safer. That, that seems like a smart move, right? I like that plan. No time in a bottle, I checked. There's the watch of flowing time, though, but no time in a bottle. I hope it does the tick acceleration. It says it does on the tooltip. It says it does. But I have to complain about no time in a bottle. That's what I'm going to have to do. Oh, cool. We got the Iron Furnaces mod, too. That's cool. Hey, all the modium. Nice. That's cool. I like that that's in here. Now, can this exist? No. Normal. Oh, hey, look, the, the tiny little bits of... That's cool. All right. So let's get a little bit more lighting in here, just so you guys can kind of see what I'm working on. Hey, so much better. All right, let me go mine. Uh, basically, I'm going to head down and out like a like a mining tunnel because uh, I don't want to go straight down. I feel like that would be I mean, I could always make a ladder, I guess, but or water um, thing. But yeah, I don't want to turn all my logs into stuff. I'm glad that recipe exists. I always like that recipe. OK, let me go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go down and out. Though I guess it would be more efficient to go straight down. And I could build a ladder to get back up. I have to go 55 blocks down. Um, so we could start with a ladder, and then we could move into a water eventually. 
Right. That is going to be a nuisance for me. It's pretty close. All right, yeah, let me make uh, a ladder. I'm going to dig straight down, uh, which I assume is safe to do in this back, and we'll be right back. Hey, look, I found andesite. Woohoo! That's cool. All right. So, andesite get, which is good. Though I wouldn't say it's entirely andesite. It's not, unless it's, well, I am right at Y55. If I went down a little bit further, maybe it would be entirely andesite. Okay. Not bad at all. I'll take that. Yeah, that works. And then maybe eventually I'll make one of those water elevator things. The soul sand and whatnot. That could be cool. I've never really done one of those. They're, they're, they're cool, but I usually use, like, you know, the elevators mod. Which is, to be fair, pretty neat. This is where the, uh... Whatchamacallit spawned. Villager. Hey, that works, right? Alright, so I've got myself a little bit of andesite. And then I have like a relatively slow, but soon to be better way to get up and down. We'll do the we'll do the water elevator thing, because those are just cool. And I'd be hundred percent down with doing that. Alright. Sweet. I like this. And my pickaxe broke, but that's okay, because what I'm going to do, well, I'll, well, what I'll do is this. Oh, there's not a regular crafting table? Okay. We'll do that, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do that. Excellent. Now, can I vein mine the andesite? I've noticed I can't vein mine stone, but I can vein mine andesite. Which makes my life a little bit easier. So if I wanted to do small tunnel, that works. All right, how'd I do here? Uh, andesite, I've got 44 of already. Beautiful. Now remember, we're here for andesite, not anything else. So it's okay to just dig straight. Oh, I accidentally dug down. But that's okay. Boop. So we've got a stackish of that stuff now and a site. Okay, I'll take it. That should be enough, I think, right? To get the initial setup going. Works for me. Okay, so let's turn much of you into polished. Okay, now we should be able to get the hand crank. We should be able to get the millstone, which needs a cogwheel, which needs buttons. And yeah, me not being able to left click on recipes is definitely messing with me. All right, so then you chill here with the hand crank and now we're good to go. I like it, all right. So now if I look up the usages of millstone, we should be able to see all the things we can get. Um, oh, we can get black dye from charcoal. That makes life cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? What else, what else, what else? I assume at some point we'll see like cobble into resources kind of stuff. Andesite turns into cobblestone. Ah, there we go. Gravel turns into zinc, coal, and iron. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. 
Well, let's see what the quest book has to say about that. So, hey, we looked at Andesite, which is cool. If we went a little bit deeper, 20 more blocks down, we would see Deep Slate. And that would get us a random reward. You know me, I like my rewards. Let me get a little bit more... Loot B has spawned at 7.13.6. Hurry and get the loot before it despawns. Oh, hello. He's even up there, too. Let's do it. He was at 13, right? I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. How do I get his loot? Do I have to kill him? Oh, I think he despawned. Did he despawn? Right clicking does nothing. Oh, I guess killing him worked. Did that work? Is that what it, is that how it worked? Couldn't tell you. I guess it worked. Yeah, I think the uh, the effect just wore off. I think he was still there. But I'm seeing some other things on my map. Oh, bats. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. It would make sense that there are bats. That's neat. A loot bee? All right, I'm in. Let's do shapeless. There we go. Mm. Well, that's one way to do it. The rapid leaf decay is going to be annoying, or the lack thereof. That's okay. Oh, I got a chance cube? It is recommended. Oh, and they have EMC. Oh my goodness, that's horrifying. I haven't been paying attention to what things have EMC and what don't, but a lot of things have EMC, which is somewhat promising, actually. Like, most things have EMC, which tells me, like, the... I think everything has had EMC so far. Are these craftable? Is that why they... Yes. So that leans into the concept of... That should be cool. It means everything has EMC. Like, crafting recipe-wise, right? Uh, so that's neat. I like that. I could, I could, I could have fun with that. Eggs, huh? Neat. Uh, so should we try it? Okay, let's do it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chance cube it. I don't know what just happened. Did it spawn a ghast? Or was that just like a trolley sound effect? I didn't actually see an entity show up, but maybe it spawned inside the wall. I don't know. Well, let's go complete that quest, huh? Just a little bit further down and we'll have Deep Slate and then we'll get a random chance reward again. Now, was there some kind of... Wasn't there a command to, like, slash home? Eh, maybe. I don't have a bed officially yet. And I don't know if what I did updated my spawn point, so I'm hesitant to try. But if we go 20-ish blocks down, is that... Am I remembering that correctly? We should run into Deep Slate. And hopefully not die. Oh, hello. Stone layers. Found it. All right, neat. Uh, I need, uh, looks like a diamond pick to mine that, so we will not be mining that anytime soon. But at least we've got, uh, the quest complete. We looked at it. It wasn't mining it, it wasn't having it, it was looking at it, was the quest. I'll, and I'll show that to you in a second once I get up to the top again. In case, uh, in case you missed that detail. Let's go! I definitely need a faster... Faster ladder situation. There's a reason I almost never use ladders. I remember what it is now. 
Okay. So, that's a quest complete. And that's a random reward, which I got. Eh, add on range. I was hoping for something cool. I'm waiting for, like... I'm waiting for, for when I get a random reward, and it's like, hey, that's awesome. I'm very excited that I got that random reward. I got another Hearthstone. I'm very excited about it, don't get me wrong. But, I already had one of those. Cool. Uh, so, encased fans... Crushing wheels. Uh huh. Washing, huh? Ooh. So you can wash what? Oh, endstone washes into enderpearl. Okay. So washing is going to be a big part of this. That's neat. And then crushing will also be a big part of this, I guess. Yeah, definitely cool. So it looks like create is a heavy part of the start of this pack, which I very much like. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here. Uh, we've made excellent progress for the first episode, I would say, and I'm very excited about this. EMC everywhere. Literally everything has EMC, which is super cool. It means that the crafting recipe lookup of EMC works. I feel like every pack I've played recently where EMC was in it, it was just like the net, like the bare resources had EMC and nothing else did. So I'm kind of excited to try a pack where there's like a heavy focus on EMC. But clearly with you needing another star to get the Project E Philosopher's Stone, it's going to be a while before we get there. That said, I'm excited that it exists. Plus, a lot of the Project E stuff like time, like the Watch of Flowing Time exists, so that's cool. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very excited for this pack. This looks super fun. Uh, plus the whole Create start. I love, I love Create. You know Create's like one of my favorites for sure. Um, so yeah, 100% down with that. So for now, Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, oh, look at that. Interesting. That's neat. Okay. Um, we'll come back next time. Play some more Stoneblock. Does that sound cool? Hope you guys are excited about the series because I really am. For now, take it easy.